I specialize in underwater landscape, sea life, um, seascapes, and portrait photography. I got into photography in the late 80s, you know, with film, um, but it wasn't pro probably until 2007 that I sort of fell in love with digital photography. And that's really when things took off for me. Photographed here in La Jolla uh, at a beach called Wind and Sea Beach where uh, there's actually an iconic shack on the beach there. And uh, the shore break happens to get really good in the winter time there. So it's one of my favorite, actually the summer's not bad too, but it's one of my favorite places to photograph uh, waves breaking right on the shore. Um, and this particular day uh, was using a, a slightly different setup than normal. Most water photographers will use a fisheye lens. Mm -hmm. uh, and on this day I was using a zoom lens, a 24 to 70 millimeter Nikon. Uh, I shoot with the Nikon D750 from the water because it's got a higher frame rate. Uh, so on this day, I chose that lens just to kind of, uh, rather than get the real wide fisheye look, I was going for just a different look altogether. As you can see, the images slowed, slowed down quite a bit as well. So that was sort of the look I was going for right off the bat. Most of my images, especially here in the gallery, I, I really like to freeze motion. Um, that's sort of, you know, one, one thing you'll, you know, if you ever walk into my gallery, you'll notice, oh, this guy likes to freeze action um, and capture that. But I also, am, and I'm also slowly starting to fall in love with the idea of showing motion as it's in action. And the only way to do that is to slow down your shutter. So it's sort of an easier thing to do, I believe, on land, you know, because you're on a tripod. So this is a very technical shot. It's very difficult to get because you're moving, the ocean's moving, everything's very fluid. Um, you know, the water's moving, you're worried about, you know, hitting your face with the camera, you're worried about what's gonna happen afterward, are you gonna go over the falls and get slammed on the shore and stuff like that. So there's all these variables and factors and wind and light and, you know, on and on. And then of course, getting your settings right to begin with in the water. So it's a lot of just dialing things in and you know, waiting for the waves to come through to get it just right. And then you also have to wait for, you know, an actually really perfect wave to come through, which is, you know, if you're there on the right days, which I try to be, uh, it's, they're not too hard to find, but you know, it's not always like that. So uh, it's also a little bit of luck, but uh, this is what I was after this day. I was really looking for capturing uh, action, blurring, and motion and color and uh, getting the right light uh, for this image. I never um, displayed this image in my gallery until um, I received a sample from True Life Acrylic. And since I've had it in the gallery, people are going nuts over it. I mean, I get comment every time someone comes in, they really they point this one out. Uh, right off the bat and you know obviously it's a it's a great photo but what i remind the customers as they walk in is that it's not it's a non-glare material it's a scratch resistant material it's lightweight compared to like they use some quarter inch stuff as well but once they you know notice those features and i show them how up close how quality crystal clear this image is they usually are just you know really fascinated by it Aaron Goulding Photography at AaronGouldingPhotography.com or if you're in the San Diego area, please come visit the gallery at 1273 Prospect Street, La Jolla, California. Our phone number here is 858-312-0970 and if you have any questions at all, please email us at info at AaronGouldingPhotography.com.